Tell Them We Are Rising is the story of uh, black colleges um, in this country. We cover uh, about 170 years of history in 82 minutes. I've tried to make films that um, resonate to today. I'm not interested in making films that, that you know, I call it the, a historical bubble that exists in this historical bubble that it's like, oh, that was interesting, you know, but what does it have to do to today? So, you know, I, when I'm looking for, for subjects that I think are important, that's one of the things I'm looking for. Black Colleges, the film we just did, is a contemporary issue. It's about, you know, black people being educated. It's about the inequality in education that still exists today. It's, it's about, you know, the, all the different movements that are, that are started and were started on, on black college campuses, which we need, you know, more than ever today. So one thing I learned from, 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 from making a, my first film, Madam C.J. Walker, was when the film aired, you know, it looked, this took seven years, we finally got it on the air, it aired. You know, I was sitting there literally with the phone in front of me, you know, like looking at the phone, because I knew that, you know, the phone was going to ring, you know, Paramount Studios or somebody was going to call. You know, and when the phone didn't ring, I realized that, you know, I would have to make it ring. I, I try to go into interviews, especially interviews with, with people who I really disagree with, you know, with an open mind. You know, I mean, I think that the vast, vast, vast majority of people do what they do because it makes sense to them at the time. You know, they're not doing something insane. They, they're doing something that, that makes perfect sense to them. So I'm really interested in why. I mean, I really am interested in, like, how the hell could you do that? You know, um, how the hell could you order the National Guard, you know, onto this black college campus that ended up in, in two kids being murdered? I think the other piece of it, though, is that, you know, as a filmmaker, you also realize that you're getting great stuff. You know, so part of you is like, you know, you know, part of your head is going like, oh my God, this guy's ridiculous. But part of your head is going like, yes, you know, yes, keep, keep up this silliness, you know. Um, so, you know, it, it's a combination of, of one, real empathy, but also, you know, that, that other piece of me as a filmmaker, knowing how this stuff is going to play, you know, once we get it in the edit room.